Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to take a look you created it in Lightroom and turn it into a lot. Some many reasons you'd like to do this. The reason I'm doing it today is because I'm working on a lookbook that had both a video and a still shoot, and we want them to both have a very similar look. Now, let me start by saying that but doing it this way by taking a photograph that's not part of the video and putting it into the video, the looks are going to be a bit different but you're gonna to have to do some messing around with the colors in your software to make it look as close as possible. Obviously, different pictures, different exposures, different backgrounds, colors are gonna make it look different, but you're gonna get the general look. Now, the tool I'm using is free. I'll be linking it in the description. When you go to download it, there's an option to donate some money. Well, pay for it, it's one of them things where you can pay as much or as little as you want, so it can be nothing, or you could donate a million pound. But anyway, I would highly suggest donating a little bit of money because this person's gone out of the way to make this great tool for free. So let's get started. Also, if I've not mentioned it, the tool will be linked in the description. So let's get started. Select the picture you want, like I'm using this picture, I've used the VSCO preset and I've modified it quite a bit. So we're gonna select this picture like so. We're going to develop. I've already done all the effects, but the things you're going to have to do to make this work, clarity off, you know, clarity. And then down here, we're going to come to the detail, detail turned off, lens corrections turned off, and the effects need to be turned off too. So we're going to come down to the picture, right click and go to develop settings. And we want to copy settings. We're going to get this box here, like so, and make sure that sharpening and the clarity are both turned off. Lens correction and effects is also turned off. Now we're going to click copy like so. Now I have this tool open, the look generator tool. So we're going to open this up once you've downloaded it and click on a generate a hold. I'm going to place it on the desktop like so. And now I'm going to open this up on the desktop. And because I've already made one, I'm going to change this to four as does you guess sometimes get a bit of an error important it to Lightroom as it's already got a name. So I'm going to come down here back to library and we're going to go to the import and now we're going to go to the desktop and you're going to see it here. We're going to click import. Now we have this, we're going to click on it. We're going to go over to the develop tab. We're going to come back down to the picture in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to look for, there should be a paste develop, develop settings. I'm going to click paste settings like so. And now we have this. This is what we're looking for now. You'll see that the colors have changed from before. So what we're going to do is come back down here like so, right click. So I'm getting used to a new graphics tablet. So it's taking a bit of time to get the right click down. I'm going to go to export like so. I'm going to put it back on the desktop like this. Now with the settings we're going to want, JPEG, either S, R, G, B, or S, R, V, B. I have R, G, B right now, so we're going to be using this. Quality 100, and down to resolution, we're going to want 72. So we're going to click export. Now we're going to go down to the desktop like so, and we're going to click on convert to cube. Now we're going to take this JPEG, that we've just created. We're going to import like so. Operation complete successfully. Now we have this file. For organization purposes, you can put it in a separate folder somewhere else, but for now, I'm just going to leave it on my desktop. So I'm going to come into a Premiere Pro or whatever chosen piece of software you want to use. It'll work in Final Cut. I imagine Avid. I haven't used Avid in a while, but I imagine it'll work in there. DaVinci Resolve, I'm pretty sure it works with LUTs too. So we're going to come into Premiere. I'm sure you can find a tutorial on how to use LUTs for your chosen software if you're not using Premiere. We're going to type in Lumetri Color. Oops, there we go. That's probably a bad, bad idea, but to do it this way. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Lumetri Color, we're going to add it to here. You can add it to an adjustment layer if you want, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to add it straight to the clip. And we're going to come into Basic Correction, and then LUT Browse. Go to the desktop and we're going to import this, open. And there we go. It's not perfect. I have the um, my Lumetri scopes open on another screen so I can see that I need to increase the highlights and some other things. But for now, it's pretty damn close. So if I just turn it off for you, before, after. 
Now, if you look here and here, I'm going to put it side by side on screen right now so you can see the picture and the premiere look that we created here. So it's pretty damn close now. You'll need to fine tune it, uh, with, um, mess with the highlights, mess with the exposure, stuff like that. But this is pretty close and it's a very good tool. So thank you for watching. The tool will be linked below. I will also link my Twitter and Instagram. So if you have any questions, requests, just want to chat to me about how to get started in the industry, anything like that, please feel free to message me over there. And if you have any requests for tutorials, put that in the comments below or contact me in any way you'd like. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.